so we are in step 3 which is exploratory data analysis so so far we are done with data profiling once you have done the data profiling then obviously we'll go for the organizing the data once organizing the data is done now we will take up the techniques from summarizing the data such as measures of central tendency measures of dispersion measures of shape percentiles measures of association once all done now it's time then we have gone for pattern discovery k means hierarchical clustering and the most important one uh, for basket analysis market basket analysis such as association rule mining to discover interesting relationships between the variables so we have seen this too so now it's time to see feature relationship analysis that's what we will be seeing so this is what we will be seeing a uh, feature relationship analysis here we will investigate the relationships and uh, dependencies and we will see various uh, 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 techniques to do the feature relationship analysis okay let's get into that what is a feature relationship analysis feature relationship analysis also known as feature correlation analysis is a technique used to explore and understand the relationships between features variables in a data set so it helps identify the degree and nature of the association between different features so which can be valuable for various data analysis and modeling tasks here are the key steps involved in feature relationship analysis we will do the feature relationship analysis in five or uh, six steps out of them the first step is compute correlation coefficients so the first step is to calculate the correlation coefficients between pairs of features so correlation coefficients measures the strength and direction of the linear relationship between two variables so the most commonly used correlation coefficient is the pearson correlation coefficient then we will move on to the second step which is visualizing correlation matrix or visualize uh, correlation matrix a correlation matrix is a table that displays the correlation coefficients between all pairs of features in a data set it provides a comprehensive view of the relationships between features so heat maps are commonly used to visualize the correlation matrix so where the colors represent the magnitude of the correlation coefficient so this helps identify highly correlated or anti correlated features then we will move on to the third step which is scatter plots so scatter plots are effective for visualizing the relationship between two continuous variables so each data point is plotted as a point on a graph with one variable represented on the x axis and the other on the y axis so scatter plots uh, uh, reveal a pattern such as linear non-linear or no relationship between the variables so they can help identify trends clusters outliers or the absence of a relationship then we have the pair plots so pair plots also known as scatter plot matrices pair plots also known as the scatter plot matrices this display scatter plots for all pairs of features in a data set they allow for a visual examination of the relationships between multiple features simultaneously so pair plots are particularly useful 
when dealing with a moderate number of features as they provide an overview of the interaction between variables. So now what we have next is, let me see, okay. After the pair plots, what we have here is parallel coordinate plots. Parallel coordinate plots. So parallel coordinate plots display multivariate data on parallel axis. So each axis represents a variable and data points are connected by lines that pass through each axis. So parallel coordinate plots are useful for visualizing the relationships and interactions between multiple numerical variables simultaneously. So patterns such as uh, uh, trends, clusters or outliers can be identified by observing how the lines behave across the axis. And the last one that we have here is the most important one which is statistical tests. So in addition to visual in addition in addition to visual analysis statistical tests can be used to quantify the significance of the relationships between the features for example hypothesis tests like the t test or analysis of variance anova can be applied to determine if the mean values of a target variable differ significantly across different levels of a categorical feature. So, to sum it up, we will begin with computing correlation coefficients, then we will visualize the correlation coefficients uh, using heat maps, then we will plot a scatter plots uh, between the two features and we can also plot pair, uh, pair plots and similarly parallel coordinate plots but all these five techniques are used to understand the relation or association between the two variables or maybe multivariate or multiple variables but how do you how do you confirm the statistical significance for that to confirm the statistical significance of the respective relations or associations we need to do statistical tests. It could be t-test or ANOVA f-test or chi-square test, whatever it may be, whatever it may be. So, but the statistical significance to be decided to decide statistical significance of the relation or association, we need a statistical test and that's what the final test of feature relationship analysis using the sequential Procedure, procedure following the sequential procedure from compute correlation coefficient, visualize correlation matrix, scatter plots, pair plots, parallel coordinate plots, and at the end to test the significance of the respective relation, we will go for the statistical tests. So, by conducting feature relationship analysis, you can gain insights into the dependencies, associations, or interactions between features which can inform feature selection, dimensionality, reduction, modeling decisions. It helps to understand the underlying structure of the data and can guide further data exploration or predictive modeling tasks.